the idea came to me in 2011. I was over in a place called Jericoacoara in North Brazil. And there's a lot of different types of people there. You've got all the tourists, the locals, and um, people who sell jewellery. And just this amazing uh, location in the middle of nowhere. And I thought, like, it'd be a really good place to, to set a novel. And there's a lot of hippies there who, who make this macrame jewellery. And I met one of them and, and really thought it's an interesting character. So I just built built the novel on that. It's based on a character called Bruno. It's based on a character called Bruno, yeah. So the idea is that he's walking to the Amazon. He's withdrawn from society. And uh, he's been walking for two years. He arrives in this town. And unexpectedly, it's not on his map. And he decides that he wants to try one last time before heading off to the Amazon. He wants to try to fit in somewhere and become like a contributing member of society. And the people there, they don't, they don't welcome him. They don't accept him. So he's about to leave again when, when this uh, runaway comes and she's at her, her wit's end. And together they try to make a living, make a life for themselves there. Um, and that's, that's the start of it. Does it help to write a novel, um, you know, centred in a, a location that you've already been to? I think it does. It's good to have some knowledge. Um, for me, I had only been there for like three weeks so I still had to do a lot of research and, and find out about the place. And obviously, everything there was in Portuguese. I could only get there because I speak a little bit of Portuguese. So I had to do so much research, speak to a lot of friends, and, and, and try and make it like um, as real as it could be. Uh, but it definitely helps to, to know what you're writing about. You had a couple of personal battles that you had to kind of overcome. Did that almost inspire you to write the book? Yeah, I, th- I think like um, I've, I've always wanted to, to live in the present. Um, but sometimes stuff happens and, and uh, you realise that uh, you know, you're, you're mortal, you're not going to live forever and, and that if you're always putting something off and never doing it, then you know, you've got to regret it in the end. So, so when, that, when that happened, um, uh, I had testicular cancer and, and uh, when that happened, I thought, OK, that now's the time to write it. If I don't write it now, you know, I, was, I was unemployed at the time as well and, and uh, I thought if I don't write it now, it's never going to get done. So um, yeah, I sat down to do it and... So I give myself a year. Six years later, it's finally done, and I, I can hold it in my hand. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And back to full health, feeling good again. Yeah, feeling really good. Uh, I'm down to one um, blood test a year, and uh, everything's going going really well. Yeah, it's not something I think about that much anymore. So everything's fine. What about the book in general then? I mean, um, I know that it's available to purchase locally. How's it been received? Yeah, it's, it's been received really well. Uh, a lot of the feedback is that it's different from, from what, what people normally read. Um, it's a really serious book, so it's, it's not something that, that you can just jump right into, like a, what's his name, a James Patterson novel or Harry Potter. It, but it's something that might be challenging for you. But um, the, the general feedback I've had is that the people who stick with it, they really enjoy it. And um, and yeah, it's it's just something different. Is this a one-off, or can you see yourself writing more novels sort of going forward in the future? Yeah, I, th- I definitely want to write more. I've actually got a new idea for for a novel. Um, I'm heading off to Asia on on Monday uh, to do a bit of research for that, and also have a a bit of a holiday. Um, so yeah, uh, the new one's got to be called Portmanteau. Uh, hopefully, it won't take me six years to write this one, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, great stuff. Well, thank you very much indeed for popping in past and having a chat. Um, if folk do want to pick up a, a copy of your novel, uh, Stephen John, what would you say to them? Yeah, you can pick up my novel or just pick up a book. You know, we're so distracted nowadays with our phones and everything. Um, for me, I'm, I'm battling constantly against Instagram and, and all that stuff. So I try to put my phone out of sight um, and uh, set a timer and try and read for half an hour. And I think it improves my day. And I think... Uh, Anyone should just read more, disconnect from the internet. Um, if you want to write, read, if you want to read my book, you can find it in uh, Fraserburgh at the newsagents. You can find it on Amazon, and it's at Books and Beans in Aberdeen. Um, yeah, and it's called Vagabundo.